Hello, hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. Today is the 14th of February and it is a special day where all of us celebrate love. So today is Valentine's Day and I want to vlog about my day because I want to see what my boyfriend has in store for me and it better be good. I've gotten myself all dressed up for today. So in this very pretty girly dress, which I love so much. When I first saw it, I knew this would be my Valentine's Day outfit. It is very romantic because there is floral prints which I love and it is pretty sweet girly which is perfect for this occasion. And speaking of flower, let's pick up some jewelry. So I have in mind a little pretty simple pair of earrings with pink diamonds. I picked this pair of earrings because I feel that the dress is already pretty quite floral and I don't want to be too overpowering with my accessories and oops, I better be wearing my earrings properly. Oh my god, you never know. I'm such a klutz that, you know, sometimes I don't even put them properly and then ah no I did put my earrings properly that that day it was just a very unlucky day that's the thing you see I can't find my ear hole it's so hard what's going on why does it have to be so hard you know it it's so difficult that it becomes like not even fun to wear jewelry anymore. One hour later. Got it. Maybe I have fat fingers. Oh no. It's just so hard. Why is it so complicated? Now I gotta get the needle through. This is a very safe pair of earrings that's like double or triple catch in case, you know, I drop it and there it goes. I guess I need some help. Finally, like one hour later. Oh my god, I'm still struggling with it. I, you know, I'm so paranoid guys that I just want to make sure that it's very safe. Okay, I'm going to double, triple check before I get out of the house. Anyway, here goes. Now to pick up a ring. And yes, I already have it in mind. I'm going to go with my matching ring, which is my favorite pink diamond pear shape. I'm just going to leave my neck bare. I mean, this outfit is kind of like revealing for me. Yeah, but that's how the dress is and that's just how the body is. So I'm just going to try my best to carry it with confidence. So how do you guys like my outfit? But oops, no shoes. Let's go pick out a pair of shoes. Ta -ta -ta. These are going to be the pair of shoes that I'm going to wear tonight. They are Manolo Blahniks. I think they're such a perfect match for this dress. And being not so high, I think I'm going to be quite comfortable in them. Sweet and dainty, just the way I like it. Now I'm going to pick out a handbag, which I know you guys love watching me pick out a handbag. So which of you get to go out tonight? If I wanted to be more comfortable, I would use Rose Sakura, simply because I could like put more stuff inside her and possibly fit my Leica camera inside so that I don't have to carry like another separate paper bag which I always do when I have to carry my camera but I really would like to take the bubblegum pink out I'm not sure which one looks better 
take your pick guys and leave your comments below to tell me which one you guys prefer although by the time this vlog is out i probably would have gone out with either one or maybe ah i know i'm just going to bring both of them so this is what i always do because this mini kelly bag really fit like just all the patients that i have which is not very much <laughs> So what I like to do is to just have her on for like an accessory for my pictures and at the same time I don't like stuff my cosmetics inside and ruin this lovely precious handbag because Miss Bubblegum Pink is worth a lot of money on the secondary market and me being like uh, I love investing in my handbags and I just really want to keep them in pristine condition so I think I'm just going to wear it just for the style of it and carry Miss Rose Sakura Oops, my dress is kind of falling off Please don't let it happen when I'm out So this is what I am going to do for tonight Pretty ingenious Half the day have gone and I don't see Terence doing anything special for me for Valentine's Day. I'm going to go downstairs and that better be some kind of surprise for me. I'm down for my surprise. What, what is happening? I see an LP bag. Why are you doing down here? You're not supposed to come down here so fast. Oh my surprise. god, it's okay. It is huge! Happy Valentine's Day! Thank Aww. you! Oh my god, it's so beautiful! Okay, okay let's put it. I, it looks very heavy and lifting it is like all sweaty already. Wow, it's very big. It is, um, yes, it's very big. It's big because the um, present is small. Well, small presents small. are the best. No. You know, when it comes in small packages, you know there's something special in there. And actually, I have told Terence that I don't want flowers this year. Because you know, they drop the prices of flowers this year on Valentine's Okay, so usually the prices of uh, flowers, especially roses on Valentine's Day, is already very expensive. But because of COVID, it was ridiculous. So, you know me, well, I was going COVID, like... Because of COVID, the prices it, went up. Because, what? The flowers got COVID, so there are less flowers. <laughs> and I said, okay, don't buy me roses. You can buy me roses for my garden, which yeah. I already have a lot of, but I uh, won't mind having more. So, from his experience, I guess, he... Yes, okay, I mean, they always say, don't buy flowers. Oh, One day, day, day. Day. Your money, my mom always tells me over the years, please son, don't waste your money buying so many flowers. Flowers are never lasting. It's the impression that counts. But when you don't actually buy the flowers, mm. if I don't get you flowers, what are you gonna do? Nothing. Really? Okay, so that's what they say. Nothing, but they're gonna but get really mad. Speaking really from mad. experience, yeah. but no, I mean I would like a flower dress. Maybe you can pay for my dress. Yeah. Guys, yeah, maybe don't make the mistake. You know, you can pay still for buy the flowers, even though they say they don't want flowers. Just get a few. Okay. Judging from the looks of it, I think the specific instructions that Terence gave to the florists would be just get me something big and something pink. No, I mean, honey, no, it... I mean, no, no. I mean, I didn't say that exactly. I just said do something very beautiful. Oh. Um, I want pink roses this year. I didn't want red because you know we have been doing red for many years. So you know. And he like also pink. know he also know one thing what? that this Chinese New Year I cannot see red. Okay. I can wear so, red. So, you know, there's one thing, guys. Jamie is very superstitious, and for this year, she can't do red. She can't wear red. She can't see red <laughs> yes. roses, whatever. So, this year, I had to get pink roses. Actually, that was not a consideration. I didn't really think of that, but I just thought every year it was red. So, doing something different, um, pink would be nice. So, you know, everyone gets red roses during Valentine's Day. So, I think pink would be a nice well. change. Guys, just never get yellow roses for Valentine's Day, okay? Because, Why not? you know, 
Yellow oh, roses nice. means you want to break up with a girl. Really? Don't you I guys know, know that? that every color of the rose signifies something? Some signify respect, some signify that I want to break up with you. Okay, what about uh, rainbow roses? I mean, now it's very, you know, it's very in. You have rainbow roses, like different colors. And that's quite nice as well. I like rainbows, but rainbow roses are just very bad taste. These look like congratulatory flowers to me. I don't know. Uh, are you trying to congratulate me on something? Oh, you Looks see, like those that you send to people you, congratulations on the opening of your business. Guys, you can never win. When it's too small, they complain. When it's too big, they say it's congratulatory roses. I mean, what else? I mean, no, but the thing is that, okay, you see, when I was young, right? I like to parade the roses that I get on Valentine's Day. I, I see many okay, girls, they want to parade okay. it on parade the street to show, to show like how much their yes. boyfriend loves yeah. them, right? Parade it. So I don't know, how am I going to parade this congratulatory uh, size bouquet on the streets when I walk in my Valentine's Day dress and I'm going to parade this. So I guess there's no parade this year. I can't be holding them, feeling romantic. One hand holding Terence, the other one holding my pew just like 10 kilos. I think 10 kilos uh, flowers. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I, I don't know who, who, who is touching my hair. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Oh. You see, you can just take oh. one out and that's still good. Okay, wait, no taunts yet. No, good. but I don't want to parade one rose, you know? Parading one rose for a woman my age a little bit still. Okay, anyway, um, let's get to the next um, part of it. After I smell the roses, please. I have a gift! I mean, he could have like saved the money from this big bouquet, right? And get me a bigger gift. But this one is very small. Yeah, actually, I mean, I actually where's my present? Your present is me! It's me! We live in an unfair world. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. So you know, to Terence, right? Reading his Valentine's Day note has always been very important. How I know that is because in previous years when I received the flowers and then I don't take out the note and read, maybe that's why it has a huge one stuck right there. Because there was like uh, this particular year which he said, do you read my note? Do you read my note? And I was like, no, is that a note? And then he got very offended Aww. a little bit. So let's read his note out loud. Happy pink Valentine's Day to my one and only love. You are my Pinarello and Bianchi all wrote into one complete perfect package. Love you always. Oh. He's trying to call me a bicycle. <laughs> Orange boxes always get me excited. No, oh, this one looks very Chinese in here. Ooh, ooh, it's a box. I love LV boxes. Now let's see. Well, there better be a girl called Vivian inside. Because I've been eyeing that box. Oh, oh. look at that. It's a drawing of us and my favorite photo. Yes. Remember two days ago, we were just sitting in the garden and we were having this discussion about uh, which Valentine's Day picture we should post of each other. And then I showed him that I want to post that one that we took recently at the Dior staycation. And then he was like, oh, I was going to post that one too. And then I suggested, why don't you post my favorite photo then he said, I know which one. I said, are you sure you know which one? And then he said, oh, but of course he knows which one. But I wasn't convinced. So I said, remember that Paris photo? Actually, it was quite uncanny. When she asked me that question that morning, I was thinking, 
How did she know that I chose that photo to draw on the LV box? And I was saying, No, I didn't. Did know. she speak to the LV SA or something? And I was quite annoyed with the SA actually. I said, Did he let out my secret? How did she know? And we were talking about that picture, and I said, That's really strange, but I don't want to give it away. So I said, Okay, I'm just going to keep yeah. quiet. But I used that picture on the drawing on this box. So actually, I told you that that morning, I said that, hey, you know, we should get that picture painted. I even say that. I said that if I would ever want to make a painting of us, like get some artists to paint a painting of the two of us, that would be my picture. And maybe that's why you say, oh my God, painting and that picture, yeah. someone has betrayed his surprise. Let's have and a look at the photo. The real, okay, let's, let's have a look at the real picture first. So this is the real photograph and uh, we took this and I put it, painted it on the LV box. I love this photo and um, yeah, he read my mind. I really absolutely, it was my favourite photo of the two of us of all time. And uh, look at how lovely it has been painted on this box. And with my favorite flowers, it's like Sakura season since we didn't manage to yeah. go to Japan last so, year. So, um, give you a bit of history. So, they did this image, um, they took quite a few weeks. Um, and I felt that it was still quite plain just with the two of us there. And I suggested, okay, let's put some Sakura flowers over it just to cover up some of the empty spaces. So, I think the artist did a very excellent job. As you can see, it's, it's very nice. I love it. I mean, how long did it take, Juan? And when did um, you even go to LV? without my knowledge. Well, I didn't go down to LV at all, actually. Um, I communicated with them, everything over the phone, um, with phone calls and texts and images. Um, so she did a really good job. Uh, the, the whole process took about a month. So it would have taken more than a month, um, but I really wanted this to be done on Valentine's Day. I think I started the process probably sometime in January. Uh, and I was worried that it couldn't be completed on time because you know Chinese New Year is around the corner and they're really busy. LV is really busy, and they had, and they did tell me that there were many many people in the queue. Um, so you know I had to pull some strings. Oh wow! Pull some strings. <laughs> pull some strings. Bribe some people, <laughs> and uh, finally I got um, it done before Chinese New Year and before Valentine's Day. Okay, so let's. Oh my God. Oh. Playing a baby tune. Well, it's a lullaby. So, you know, lullabies it's evoke a... memories of childhood and it's My inner child. back to a time when we were all innocent. So, it's a very timely reminder that, you know, we were never, all once young. Never forget your inner child. Yeah, and exactly. always spend time with your inner child. So, yes. this one is very beautiful and I want to show you guys this, this little flower to wind this musical box. I just love it. It's like this tiny little flower and of course, it's pink inside. It wouldn't have worked any other way, right? Yeah. It has to be pink, right? It has right? to be pink. Wow, it's so beautiful. So, I, I'm, what what do you want me to keep here? Like money? No, um, you, you're not supposed to keep anything. It's just like, a, you know, it, just put it this way. It's a musical box and that's it. Okay, ah. so I'm just supposed to look at it and yeah. remind myself of the inner child. I love it. Thank you so much. This is like the perfect gift. So, I hope you have something else in store for tonight. I'm so excited he's not telling me where we are going to. I think she already knows. The only place that could accommodate his probably last minute reservation. Yeah, I had to pull more strings and bribe more people. people. Okay, <laughs> looking forward. See you guys later. So I'm going to get a bottle of champagne to celebrate this day. Okay, my underground wine cellar. Ooh, it's nice and cool in here. It's my bottle of Ceylon 97, the legend. Just make sure it's the right one. 
You guys must be wondering why I changed into a different dress. Well, thank God I prepared two dresses for Valentine's Day. Well, the other dress was a little bit revealing and um, yeah, I think I gotta get it fixed because it was kind of too low and I would like to really enjoy my dinner without having to tug at my dress. So okay, Terence was like, you know, would you like to change a dress? So no. here I am in a different dress. It's just as nice. So yeah. Pretty perfect with um, rose sakura. And it matches my pink car. Although I'm not taking the pink car out. Okay, he's rushing me. Folks, here we are, and John, it's uh, the highest, is it the highest restaurant in Singapore? Yes, it is. It is. Mm -hmm. Beautiful views. Uh, yep. I'll show it to you in a while. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, cheers. It's one of my favorite restaurants, and happy Valentine's Day. Cheers. Okay guys, we are on our first course here and it's the Irish Oyster with caviar and look, they've given us extra caviar as well Because they know that Jamie loves her caviar She loves her caviar, oops, okay don't drop it, oh my goodness Oh, that was close man, that was really close Oh my god Yeah, they're not going to give us any extra after this Please, be careful Those fingers, come on yeah, all right. Aww, thank you, thank you, Chef. <laughs> Ooh, what is that? Yummy. He took a huge dollop of caviar and left me with nothing. Mm. Mm. you guys have enjoyed coming along with me this Valentine's Day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and do leave your comments on what other videos you'll like to see right here. I'll see you all next week and hope you all had a wonderful Valentine's Day. Bicycle? I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with me. Okay, So I chose this outfit because ta -ta -ta, and I am going to okay. be going out with sweet and dainty just the way I like